hello everybody, and welcome to the video, uh, my fellow Americans. We're talking about, uh, dividends. Well, that's what I'm talking about, folks. You know, because you saw the last video, I hope you did, we did the monthly recap for the month of July for none other than the portfolios, and I hope you're excited about it. As you see, we're at a banger of a month, so I hope you check that video out so you can see. Look at the, look at it. We hit 150 grand in these these freaking two accounts combined. This video focused on the dividends we earned this month. We'll make it nice, short, and sweet. Hope you don't mind too much. A little bit of a background here, really quickly. Um, you know we're doing this every single freaking month. I hope you're excited about that, and you stay tuned for next month's too. Right? Be on the lookout, and, and some videos in between. I hope you look out for them. Um, Obviously, you know, something I've said a lot, I'm pretty focused on dividends in these accounts. And you can see it really listed here, right? We're talking about over the next 12 months, I am anticipated to earn $5,294. You're talking, you're telling me I'm basically increasing my income that I'm making right now by $5,294. And that's pretty nice. Um, so even though, even if I don't get a raise at work, you know what? I'm getting a raise here in the portfolio. You want to know why? I reinvest every single dividend, and I'll show you that. And that means every single year I earn more and more and more and more. And we're going to keep bringing this up and bolstering it, keep getting it bigger so we can earn more and more. And that's the truth, yo. I wasn't able to play music on my... Um, <clears throat> on the water bottle, I tried, if you heard that blowing noise, and not the kind of blowing you might think about. Um, your mother is not in the room with me, I can just tell you that right now. If only she was. <clears throat> Anyways, so, that's what you can expect. Let's just get cracking into it, right? We start off here, um, and I'll actually have to expand the, the screen region here just a little bit so you can see, um, you know, dates aren't necessarily as exciting. Here we go. This is what we're looking at. Um, so you can see the symbol, you can see what we earned, and I'll just highlight what you need to know here. Just because the format of the way it's done is too wide and it makes it too small for you. I don't want to make it too small for you. So let's not do that. Um, so yeah, let's get cracking. And we start off with, uh, well, we, we saw some at the end of the, the month here. Let's kind of skip past these, Gilead. We saw those last month. We did start the month with, uh, with those dividend reinvestments, which I did say I would show. And I definitely will. Um, starting here with Domino's Pizza, the first reinvestment was only $4.88, but did reinvest for 0 0.01 shares. Again, we're going to increase that however we can. Then we go Gladstone Capital, $7 equated to 0.79 shares repurchased. Um, then we earn just a normal dividend, so you'll see that. What I'm going to do, by the way, just to make it easy, I'm only going to go over the lines here that are reinvestments, just so that way we don't double dip. So... We we start still one with from last um, the end of last month here to Nvidia it was only a twenty four cent dividend. Who cares about that one? I mean that's a tiny tiny one. That one I'm not in for the dividend, so who cares? It's just nice that they pay a small one too. Um, PepsiCo reinvested for point zero three shares. That's six dollars forty five cents. And then Bank of America, our last one from the following month that we're going over. Um, paid $9.84, reinvested for 0.33. Hey, that's no slouch, right? That's no slouch. That's on an annual basis. That's getting me a full share, right? And, and three quarters, that gets me a full share. Um, so let's get into HP following them. We got a nice divvy here. Well, I said we're only talking about the reinvestment, so let's go to it. So this reinvestment here, you see Coca-Cola. That dividend we earned was $8, uh, sorry, $6, and... Oh, uh, six dollars. Sorry, that was my bad. There, I just froze. I don't know what happened. Six dollars and fifty-six cents that were paid there too. Then we get some big ones coming up, so stay tuned. HP seven dollars and one cent here. Uh, it reinvests for 0.23 shares. Not too bad. Uh, VFH, one of our uh, ETFs, paid four dollars forty-eight, which reinvests for 0 0.05 shares. Nothing crazy. Vici, this was a pretty big dividend, twenty dollars thirty-three cents. Not too bad, if you ask me, because that reinvests for 0.65 shares. Pays quarterly. We're talking about two shares each year that I'm getting from V uh, from Vici reinvested. Pretty nice. Um, some of our monthly dividend payers paid next, but we'll get to those in just a second. First, we have Iron Mountain, which paid a fat dividend of $37.25, reinvested for 0.63. Yet again, um, 
two shares every single year I'm getting in Iron Mountain because that's a quarterly payer. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Um, one of our monthly paying ETFs, JEPQ, $8.55, equated to 0.17 shares repurchased. I like seeing that because that means every single quarter, or sorry, every single month, I'm getting more and more in terms of dividends. Not bad. JEPI paid $16.97, bought 0.3 shares. Just think about that on the grand scheme of things. This pays monthly, earning 0.3 every single month. Multiply that by 12. That's right. Do I need to do the math for you? I might if I do. Anyways, I'm getting 3.6 shares, uh, really closer to 4 if you include that additional fractional there. Um, <clears throat> closer, uh, probably 4 shares every year in Jeppy just without purchasing any. That's pretty nice. Um, we did get a small interest payment here from one of our CDs, our 4.25%. Uh, JP Morgan Chase won $21 they paid out, so that's nice. That's just free cash I can use. Another fat dividend coming up next with Apollo Commercial Real Estate REIT, $62.47. Can you believe that? Now, that does pay quarterly, but this is 5.3 shares that got reinvested on this one. I talked about it in my video last time. This is one I have for a nice dividend, and I reinvest it for this reason. On an annual basis, I get 20 shares of ARI paid to me. And I, that just means I earn more in terms of dividends every single quarter. I had to do nothing for this. The company just gave it to me. That's why I reinvest. This is the snowball we're talking about. 5.3 shares reinvested. Holy smokes, baby. Um, then we've got Main Street Capital, another monthly payer, $11.05 with that one. Not too bad. Um, we'll, we'll take that any any freaking day of the week, baby. Um, 20, uh, 0.27 shares repurchased for that one, so we'll take it. Um, SWVX actually saw a little interest payment here uh, on the 17th of $20.47. Nothing crazy there, but hey, that gets put right back in, and I'll take it every day of the week. Um, Realty income, you know the monthly dividend company. That's what you know them as. Thirteen point five eight, thirteen dollars fifty eight cents reinvested for point two two shares. Again, that pays that pays monthly, like I should say there. So when you look at that on an annual basis, getting a couple of shares, really three shares every single year, just paid to me without me putting any extra capital in, is pretty nice. You know, it's something that's pretty nice. You love seeing that. Um, Apple Hospitality, talked about them quite a bit here too. Again, we're talking about a monthly payer, got me $9.18. That equated to uh, 0.6 shares reinvested. Again, we annualized that out. Holy smokes, that's not even a joke, baby. We're talking about nearly 8 shares reinvested, most likely, all things considered, at the current level. 8 shares earned in a year by doing nothing. Not too bad. Prospect Capital, you know I hyped them up to $17.91 paid here this month because they pay monthly as well. 2.7 shares were purchased. That's a monthly freaking payment. Monthly, 2.7 shares. Let's just round that up. You know, I'm just kidding. Let's not round that up. That's pretty rude of me. But again, we equate that out on a, you know, from a, you know, multiply that by 12. We're talking about a solid 30 shares, um, closer to actually 34, 35 shares reinvested here. Every single year, just with me doing nothing. I'll say it a lot. That's what the snowball is all about. We've got Micron, pretty small one, $1.16. 0.01 shares reinvested, nothing crazy. Cisco, nothing crazy there either. It's a pretty small position. But we did get $7.18 reinvested for 0.13. We're getting towards the top here. A couple of our monthly payers haven't reinvested just quite yet. Um, so I think they likely will to start of next month. But we will bring them up for that reason. So it's, it's worth talking about. Um, $18.06 here uh, from KBWD. Pays monthly. KBWY paid $9.44. Another one pays monthly. Rhythm Capital, now this one is a quarterly, and that one paid a $46.30 uh, dividend. That one's going to be a nice quarterly reinvestment. I'll just tell you that right now because you want to know why? That's four shares that's going to get reinvested here shortly. Another one, the snowball is beautiful. And SPHD is one of our monthly payers as well. $7.06 or $7.06. I like getting that uh, as well. I love seeing that. We look on the... Um, you know, we look for that account in particular, see what we earned in terms of the month. Um, so for the month here of, uh, let me go previous month. 
sorry, 2023. There we go. So for the month of July, actually was a down month here for us. It's not one of our big months uh, in terms of payments. We actually earned a total of $355.16. Not too bad. I mean, I'll take that. On a normal month, though, as you can see, our, our monthly average is actually closer to um, uh, $432 is what we typically earn. So next month, by the way, I'll, I'll give you the hype here. It's going to be a pretty big month. I'll just tell you that right now. Um, just the way it lines up, next month should be pretty big here for us. Uh, and following that, September is going to be even bigger, by the way. So you really need to stay tuned for the next couple months here. I will very shortly or uh, very briefly get into the ones we paid in the joint account because it's worth mentioning because uh, these count towards that total, right? Uh, first, we had VG.78. Um, VIG also paid $0.78, cents. kind of wild there to see both those being the exact same. Sorry for the screen jolt there. Um, so not bad here. A dollar forty-eight paid from JEPI. Um, we also got fifteen cents from SWVXX and four dollars eighty-eight cents from SWVXX. Those kind of separated just because of the way they were formatted in terms of you know longevity of being held. And then fifty-two cents from uh, Realty Income or O. Those dividends had to be included. But hey, just take a look at this. This is beautiful. Stay tuned for next month. We're gonna have a banger of a month. Um, readjust that screen region one more time because you can see this beautiful account here. Hey, hope you fellas have a great rest of your day, and, and I, I look forward to talking to you later. Have a great one.